11 Bizarre Factors That Increase Your Risk of Heart Disease Number 1. You got your period before age 12. The earlier you start puberty, the higher your risk of heart disease later on, says Adam Splaver, MD, a cardiologist at Nano Health Associates in Hollywood, Florida. In fact, a recent heart study found that women who got their first flow before the age of 12 are about 10% more likely to have heart disease than women who got theirs at 13 or older. On average, women in the U.S. get their first period at age 12, according to a study in the Journal of Pediatric Endocrinology and Metabolism. The researchers didn't theorize as to why this happens, but other research has shown that increased estrogen levels, a hormone that plays an essential role in puberty, can increase your risk of blood clots and strokes over your lifetime. Talk to your doctor about healthy lifestyle habits that will help counteract this increased risk if you're concerned. Number 2. You take diet pills. Ladies, most diet pills don't work. But, even worse, they could kill you. Any pill with a stimulant effect, including most diet pills, can hurt your heart, Amber Kanna, MD, a cardiologist at UC Health University of Colorado Hospital. They increase your blood pressure and heart rate which puts stress on your heart. If you take them long enough, you can cause permanent damage. Stick to proven weight loss methods like eating a healthy diet and exercising two things guaranteed to lower your risk of heart disease. Number 3. You've had nasty FLU recently. Having the flu increases your risk of a heart attack sixfold for at least a year after you've been infected, according to a new study published in New England Journal of Medicine. If you ever find it hard to breathe laying down and you're swollen after having a cold or flu, get to a hospital immediately, she says. Certain bacterial and viral infections can move into your heart, causing heart disease and even heart failure, Kanna says. Number 4. You're lonely. Feeling lonely and socially isolated increases your risk of heart disease by 30%, as much as smoking does, according to a study published in the journal Heart. Thankfully, this is one risk factor for heart disease that's relatively simple to take care of, Splaver says. His recommendations? Get off social media, join a club or group, and get a pet. Not only do they provide unconditional love but walking a dog is also good exercise. Bonus, having a pet has been shown to not only decrease loneliness, but may independently improve heart health, according to research reported by Harvard. Number 5. Your pregnancy was no picnic. Growing a baby is a lot of extra work for your circulatory system, says Kanna. Your blood volume doubles and your heart has to work extra hard. That alone doesn't increase your risk for future heart disease, but if you also get gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, or have high blood pressure during your pregnancy then you're at a significantly increased risk for heart disease, even years down the road. Always tell your doctor about any conditions you had during pregnancy, she says. There's a lot of conflicting information on the effect of alcohol on heart disease but it's safe to say that while moderate drinking one drink or less per day is likely fine, Kanna says. Anything more than that however, especially if you're drinking more than two servings of alcohol a day, increases your risk of heart disease, she adds. If you're really concerned about your heart, she recommends skipping alcohol altogether. Number 6. You just got dumped. There's a reason that we call an extremely sad event heartbreaking, and that's because emotional distress can cause actual heart problems. It even has a name, broken heart syndrome. This one is hard to prevent or avoid as any deeply upsetting event can cause it, including a breakup, loss of a loved one, financial distress, a move, or a divorce, Splaver explains. The key isn't to avoid heartbreak, is that even an option, really? But to have a plan with how to deal with those hard feelings using healthy coping techniques like exercise, meditation, yoga, tai chi, and therapy, he adds. Number 7. You drink a couple glasses of wine every night. There's a lot of conflicting information on the effect of alcohol on heart disease but it's safe to say that while moderate drinking one drink or less per day is likely fine, Kanna says. Anything more than that however, especially if you're drinking more than two servings of alcohol a day, increases your risk of heart disease, she adds. If you're really concerned about your heart, she recommends skipping alcohol altogether. Number 8. You've been diagnosed with an inflammatory disease. Lupus and rheumatoid arthritis have two scary things in common, they're more likely to affect women and they both increase your risk of heart disease. It all comes down to inflammation, Kanna says. 
inflammation damages blood vessels, causing plaque to build up, she explains. Talk to your doctor about your diagnosis and how you have helped mediate the inflammation. Number 9. You're depressed. Being depressed not only increases your risk of getting heart disease, but it also doubles your risk of dying from it, according to a study presented at the American College of Cardiology's 66th Annual Scientific Session in 2017. It's not clear what exactly the connection is but people who are depressed often have higher cortisol, the stress hormone, which is linked to heart disease, Hannah says. Depression may also make it harder to do things that reduce heart disease risk like seeing a doctor exercising, and taking medication, she adds. Seek treatment if you've got a feeling of sadness you just can't shake. Number 10. You were abused as a child. Talk about pouring salt in a wound, women who experienced three or more traumatic events as a child such as being abused, witnessing others being hurt, or being a victim of bullying have an increased risk of heart disease as an adult, according to a study published in Circulation. While experts so far have no idea why the connection exists, it's still one more reason to combat emotional scars head-on, researchers explain. Number 11. You're being treated for ADHD. The most commonly used medications used to treat attention deficit hyperactive disorder are stimulants and these drugs can increase your heart rate and blood pressure, putting extra strain on your heart, Splava says. While more research needs to be done in this area, one study published in the BMJ found that long-term use of ADHD medications slightly increase the risk of heart disease in children. Talk to your doctor about weighing your potential risks and benefits from these meds.